I shall warm. First and foremost, I give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakudash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations to the Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth out in faith and in sincerity. I'm the Brother Shemala from GMS Houston Camp, and this lesson is going to be a quick lesson, right? The Hebrew word of the day. Yahweh. Yeah. And this is the name of the Heavenly Father, right? The Most High. This is his name. This is how you pronounce it. And in the Paleo or in the Lashuan Kadash, right? This is what the the commandments when they were written on the tables or the tablets of stone. They were written in, you know, that language, which is, it should look like this. This is the Most High's name. Yaha. Wa. And let's put some pronunciations behind these characters, all right? So you can be able to identify them, which I got lessons on that. You know, you go to my page, I got a Hebrew playlist. It's basically going into these letters. If you want to learn the alphabet, but you got ya, ha, wa, ha. You got the ya, you got the ha, you got the wa, and you got the ha. All right. And also, let's see. You have the Assyrian form of the text, right? Which you write it, it will. This is the handwritten version of it, but this could be a ya, right? Ha, wa. That's just that's basically a handwriting version of it. All right. And it's basically the same thing, right? Yeah. Ha. Wa. Ha. Now, because when you read it in the Torah, right, it will look like this right here. Yeah, ha, wa, ha. Yeah, ha, Right. That's what it will look like when you read it. So, like I said, um, this is just like a handwriting version of it. You know, don't make fun of my handwriting. <laughs> you see, but it's all good. But yeah, so you see how that, you know, I draw this little curve right here, right? That means that it's connected. Right? The last two characters are connected. So when the last two characters are connected, usually the last um, letter in that character will drop off. So you see up here, you have Yahweh, right? At the end, you don't have that ha because this word or oh, that character and this character is connected. So this A will drop off because it's connected. So it would just be Yahweh. It wouldn't be Yahweh Ha. All right. So hope that made sense. Now, let's erase all of this. What does this word mean? What does the Mosai's name mean? Yahweh. Simply means he to be, all right, or let's see, he exists because the most high exists, he is everything, you know, he is everywhere. 
He is all over. He is the Most High. Right? So that's the word of the day, Yahweh. Right? Which means he to be or he exists. Now, like I said, I, I read it, I have written it out in the Lashon Kadash, right? The ancient tongue, our our language, the Hebrew. And also the Assyrian, basically the, the latter form of it. So now when you see this word, you will be able to identify it. All right? So, hey, hope this lesson was edifying unto you all. That I'm going to say shalom.